Here are 10 basic JavaScript syntax rules explained in English. 1. Statements JavaScript code is composed of statements. Each statement represents an action or a command. 2. Variables Variables are used to store data values. They are declared using the var, let, or const keywords, followed by a name. 3. Data types JavaScript has several data types, including numbers, strings, booleans, objects, arrays, and more. 4. Operators JavaScript uses various operators for performing calculations, or operations on variables and values, such as arithmetic, assignment, comparison, and logical operators. 5. Conditional statements Conditional statements, like, if, and, else, allow you to execute different blocks of code based on certain conditions. 6. Loops Loops, such as, for, and, while, enable you to repeat a block of code multiple times until a specific condition is met. 7. Functions Functions are reusable blocks of code that can be called and executed when needed. They allow you to group code for specific tasks. 8. Events JavaScript can respond to user actions or events on a web page, such as clicks, mouse movements, or keyboard input, using event handlers. 9. Objects Objects in JavaScript are used to represent real-world entities. They consist of properties, attributes, and methods functions. 10. Arrays Arrays are used to store multiple values in a single variable. You can access and manipulate array elements using their indexes. These basic syntax rules provide a foundation for writing JavaScript code, and are essential for understanding and creating more complex programs. Certainly, here's an example, illustrating the first point, statements, in JavaScript. JavaScript, var x5, var y10, var sum x y, console.log sum. In this example, we have multiple statements. Each statement ends with a semicolon to indicate the completion of that particular action or command. The first statement declares a variable named x and assigns it the value 5. The second statement declares a variable named y and assigns it the value 10. The third statement declares a variable named sum and assigns it the result of adding x and y. The fourth statement uses the console.log function to output the value of sum to the console. Each statement is executed in the order they appear. Allowing you to perform various operations and manipulate data within your JavaScript code. Here's an example illustrating the second point, variables, in JavaScript. JavaScript. Var name, John. Let age 25. Const pi 3.14. Console.log. My name is, name. Console.log. I am, age, years old. Console.log. The value of pi is, pi. In this example, we declare three variables using different keywords. Var, let, and const. The var keyword is used to declare a variable. Named name and assign it the value, John. The let keyword is used to declare a variable. Named age and assign it the value 25. The const keyword is used to declare a constant variable. Named pi and assign it the value 3.14. Variables can hold various data types, such as strings, numbers, booleans, objects, and more. In this example, name is a string, age is a number, and pi is a constant number. The console.log function is used to output the values of the variables to the console. In the console, you would see the following output. My name is John. I am 25 years old. The value of pi is 3.14. Variables allow you to store and manipulate data throughout your JavaScript code, making it dynamic and adaptable to different scenarios. Here's an example illustrating the third point, data types, in JavaScript. JavaScript. Bar number 10. Bar text. Hello, world. Bar is true true. Bar person name, John, age 25. Bar fruits, apple, banana, orange. Console.log type of number output number. 
console.log type of text output string console.log type of is true output boolean console.log type of person output object console.log type of fruits output object in this example we have variables representing different data types in javascript number is a variable of type number assign the value 10 text is a variable of type string assign the value hello world dot is true is a variable of type boolean assign the value true person is a variable of type object assigned an object with properties name and age fruits is a variable of type object specifically an array assigned an array of strings representing different fruits the type of operator is used to determine the type of each variable it returns a string representing the data type of the operand the console.log function is used to output the type of each variable to the console in the console you would see the following output number string boolean object object understanding and working with different data types in javascript allows you to handle and manipulate data effectively in your code here's an example illustrating the fourth point operators in javascript javascript var x10 var y5 arithmetic operators var sum x y var difference x y var product x y var quotient x y var remainder x percent y assignment operators x5 y2 comparison operators var is greater x y var is equal x y var is not equal x y logical operators var is true true var is false false var logical and is true and an is false var logical or is true is false var logical not is true console.log sum output 15 console.log different output 5 console.log product output 50 console.log quotient output 2 console.log remainder output 0 console.log x output 15 console.log y output 10 console.log is greater output true console.log is equal output false console.log is not equal output true console.log logical and output false console.log logical or output true console.log logical not output false in this example we demonstrate various types of operators in javascript arithmetic operators such as addition subtraction multiplication division and percent modulus perform basic mathematical calculations on numbers assignment operators such as addition assignment and multiplication assignment combine arithmetic operations with assignment to update variable values comparison operators such as greater than strict equality and strict inequality compare values and return boolean results true or false logical operators such as an and logical and logical or and logical not perform logical operations on boolean values and return boolean results the console.log function is used to output the results of the operations to the console in the console you would see the following output 15 5 50 2 0 15 10 true false true false true false understanding and using operators in javascript allows you to perform calculations make comparisons and control the flow of your code based on different conditions here's an example illustrating the fifth point conditional statements in javascript javascript var temperature 25 if temperature 30 console.log it's hot outside else if temperature 20 and in temperature 30 console.log the weather is pleasant else console.log it's cold outside in this example we use the if else if and else statements to create a conditional flow based on the value of the temperature variable the if statement checks if the temperature is greater than 30. if the condition is true it executes the code block inside the curly braces and logs it's hot outside to the console If the condition in the if statement is false, the else if statement is evaluated. Here, we use the logical and operator, and then to check if the temperature is between 20 and 30 inclusive.
If true, it executes the corresponding code. Lock and logs, the weather is pleasant. To the console. If both the conditions in the if and else if statements are false. The else statement is executed. It logs, it's cold outside. To the console. In this case, since the temperature is 25, the condition in the else if statement is true. And the output in the console would be, the weather is pleasant. Conditional statements allow you to control the flow of your program based on certain conditions, enabling you to execute different blocks of code depending on the situation. Here's an example illustrating the sixth point. Loops in JavaScript. JavaScript. For var i 0 i 5 i. Console.log. Count i. Var j 0. While j 5. Console.log. Count j. J. In this example, we demonstrate two types of loops in JavaScript. The for loop and the while loop. The for loop is commonly used when you know the number of iterations in advance. In this example, the loop runs as long as the variable i is less than 5. The i statement increments the value of i by 1 after each iteration. Inside the loop, we log the value of i to the console, which outputs the count from 0 to 4. The while loop is used when the number of iterations is not known in advance. In this example, the loop runs as long as the variable j is less than 5. Inside the loop, we log the value of j to the console, and then increment it by 1 using j. The loop continues until j becomes 5. In both cases, the output in the console would be count 0, count 1, count 2, count 3. Count 4. Loops are powerful control structures in JavaScript that allow you to repeat a block of code multiple times, enabling you to automate repetitive tasks and iterate over arrays or other collections of data. Here's an example illustrating the seventh point, functions, in JavaScript. JavaScript. Function greet name. Console.log. Hello, name. Greet, John. Greet, Jane. Greet, Alice. In this example, we define a function named greet that takes a parameter name. Inside the function body, we log a greeting message to the console. Using the console.log function, the function keyword is used to define a function named greet. The name parameter allows us to pass a value when calling the function. Inside the function body, we concatenate the name parameter. With the greeting message using the operator, the console.log function is used to output the greeting message to the console. After defining the function, we call it multiple times, with different names passed as arguments. Each function call logs a personalized greeting message to the console. In the console, you would see the following output. Hello, John. Hello, Jane. Hello, Alice. Functions in JavaScript are reusable blocks of code that allow you to encapsulate logic and perform specific tasks. They provide a way to modularize your code, promote reusability, and improve code organization. Here's an example illustrating the eighth point, events, in JavaScript. HTML. Button id. My button. Click me. Button. Script. Function handle click. Console.log. Button clicked. Var button document. Get element by id. My button. Button. Add event listener. Click. Handle click. Script. In this example, we demonstrate how to handle a click event. On a button element using JavaScript. We start by defining a function named handle click that logs a message to the console when the button is clicked. We select the button element 
using its id attribute and assign it to the variable button using the get element by id method. We use the add event listener method to attach an event listener to the button. The first argument specifies the event type to listen for, which in this case is the click event. The second argument is the function to execute. When the event is triggered, which is handle click. When the button is clicked, the handle click function is executed, and the message, button clicked, is logged to the console. You can try running this code in an HTML document, and check the console output when you click the button. Handling events in JavaScript allows you to respond to user actions or interactions with your web page, such as clicks, mouse movements, key presses, and more. It enables you to create interactive and dynamic web applications, Here's an example, illustrating the ninth point, arrays, in JavaScript. JavaScript. Var fruits, apple, banana, orange, grape. Console.log fruits 0 output apple. Console.log fruits. Length output 4. Fruits. Push, mango. Console.log fruits output. Apple, banana, orange, grape, mango. Fruits.pop. Console.log fruits. Output, apple, banana, orange, grape. Console.log fruits. Index OF, orange, output 2. In this example, we demonstrate the basic usage of arrays in JavaScript. We declare an array named fruits that contains four elements. Apple, banana, orange, and grape. Using square brackets and the index. We can access individual elements of the array. In this case, fruits0 returns the first element, which is, apple. The length property is used to determine the number of elements in the array. In this case, fruits, length returns 4. The push method adds a new element to the end of the array. In this case, we add, mango, to the fruits array. The pop method removes the last element from the array. In this case, we remove, mango, from the fruits array. The index of method returns the index of a specified element in the array. In this case, fruits, index of, orange, returns 2, which is the index of, orange, in the fruits array. The console.log function is used to output the results to the console. In the console, you would see the following output. Apple, 4, apple, banana, orange, grape, mango, apple, banana, orange, grape, 2. Arrays in JavaScript provide a way to store and manipulate multiple values in a single variable. They are widely used for organizing and working with collections of data. Here's an example illustrating the tenth point. Objects in JavaScript. JavaScript. Var person. Name, John. Age 30. City, New York. Console.logPerson.name output John. Console.logPerson.age output 30. Console.logPerson. City output New York. Person.job, engineer. Console.logPerson output name. John, age 30. City, New York. Job, engineer. Delete person.age. Console.logPerson output name. John, City, New York, Job, Engineer. In this example, we demonstrate the basic usage of objects in JavaScript. We create an object named Person that represents a person's information. It has properties such as name, age, and city, with corresponding values assigned to them. Using dot notation, we can access individual properties of the object. In this case, Person.name returns the value of the name property which is John. We can also add new properties to the object using dot notation. In this case, we add a job property with the value engineer. The console.log function is used to output the values of the properties and the modified object to the console. The delete keyword is used to remove a property from the object. In this case, we delete the age property from the person object. In the console, you would see the following output. John, 30, New York. Name, John, age 30, city, New York, job, engineer. Name, John, city, 
New York, Job, Engineer. Objects in JavaScript allow you to represent complex data, structures and organize related data into key value pairs. They are commonly used for modeling real-world entities and storing structured data.